hi and welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to calculate the das 21 scale the das 21 scale is a very popular scale that is used to measure depression anxiety and stress and as the name suggests it has uh, three sub components uh, seven items are for depression seven item for, items are for anxiety and seven items are for stress uh, i will be leaving the link uh, to the scale in the description along with the scoring pattern as well so you can have a look at it uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the total score uh, first of all enter the responses for DAS in SPSS or PSPP uh, total the score of DAS and finally uh, you know uh, categorize them into different levels and interpret the scores so first I want to show you how to enter the responses so Entering the responses for DAS is the same as any other variable. It's very easy. So this is the first respondent. As you can see, the data is entered in SPSS and PSPP on a horizontal basis. And the responses for the DAS items ranges from 0 to 3. So uh, 0 usually means it did not apply to me at all. And the highest possible response is 3. Uh, so basically, uh, you can see the response respondents responding. This is the first respondent. Uh, he or she has responded as 1 for the first one, 1 for the second item, 0 and so on. So this is how the data is entered for DAS. And, and now we're going to show you, now I'm going to show you how to calculate the different uh, factors of DAS. So first we'll start with the depression. Now if you look at the scoring pattern, uh, which I have uh, mentioned in the description, you can there's a link available for it. Uh, there are certain items for depression, there are certain items for anxiety and there are certain items for stress. So seven items each to be precise. So we'll first start with depression. For depression it's item number 3, 5, 10, 13, 16, 17 and 21. So you need to add all these items, get the total score and then multiply the total score into 2 to get the final score. Okay, So that's the scoring that has to be followed. So let's go ahead and add the items first. For this we need to go to transform compute um, so for depression it's item number three that's the first one this is followed by item number five this is followed by item number 10 this is followed by item number 13 this is followed by item number 16 this is followed by item number 17 and then item number 21 so this is this is the total depression score if we calculate it uh, there are seven items here one two three four five six seven so i will call it uh, tot dep and then the label i'll say total depression one because there is another total depression we need to calculate so total depression one Okay, and then click on continue because we need to multiply the score by 2 later. I click on continue and then click on OK. Now if, if you go to the variable view or even the data view, you will see the total depression scores are uh, has arrived here. But this is not the final score remember because we need to multiply the total score into 2 to obtain the final score. So for this we need to go to transform again, compute, reset the values over here, uh, include a total depression 1 into the box introduce it there multiply that by 2 and then call it TOT DEP2 or total depression 2 that's what I would call it and then click continue and click OK so now a new variable has been created which is a total depression 2 if I go to the variable view uh, you can see it and in the data view as well you can see it here Okay, so it's basically the total score multiplied by 2. So we need to follow the same steps for anxiety and stress. I will do that and get back to you in the second half of this video. Okay, so I have followed a similar process for calculating the total anxiety and total stress. Uh, this is how you calculate it. You need to add the total anxiety items in the total anxiety. That is 2, 4, 7, 9, 15, 19 and 20. Get the total score and then again put the total score in and multiply it by 2 the same way I did it for depression and then you will follow the same process for stress as well so here we have the scores uh, you can see the total depression score 
uh, into two, the total anxiety score into two, and the total stress score into two. So these are these three are the final ones. This one, this one, and this one. Now uh, the next step we need to do is to categorize this resp these responses uh, into five different levels. So if you look at the scoring, the scale basically tells you how to categorize the responses into five different levels. Okay. So before going before going into that, we can also calculate the average scores of the respondents. So for this, uh, we can go to descriptive analyze so descriptive statistics frequencies. Um, we just reset whatever is in and then uh, pull in the total uh, depression to total anxiety to and the total stress to make sure we select mean minimum maximum and then click OK. If you go to the output file, you will find that these are the average scores for depression, anxiety and stress. So on average, the total score of the respondents for the total depression is 12.32, anxiety is 16.36, stress is so on. So the minimum and the maximum are here to see. Now, now the next step, as I told you, is to categorize them into five different levels. If you look at the scale, it has given us the different levels. And these are the levels. Uh, the first one is normal. The second one is mild. The third one is moderate, the third, the fourth one is severe, and the fifth one is extremely severe. So let's go ahead and categorize them into these five levels. We go to transform again, uh, recode into different variables. What, the reason we are doing this is because we are transforming the continuous variable, that is the total scores, into categories, okay, these five different categories. So transform, recode into different variables, uh, reset if there is anything inside. Uh, Pull in total depression to first click on it, click on old and new values. Now uh, give a range here. So the range that we are going to give is based on the scale. If you look at the scale, the range has been given there. Okay, I'm just deleting things that are already in there. So the range here is for normal, it is zero to nine. So I'm recording zero to nine as one. Basically, I'm telling the computer, anyone who scores between zero to nine, put them in the first category. The second level is mild, which is between 10 to 13. I call it two, click on add. Then the third category is between 14 uh, to 20. That's the third category, 14 to 20. The fourth category, which is severe, the severe category is from 21 to 27. That's the fourth category, which is also known as the severe category. And then the last category is 28 and above, right? So it's 28 and above. It's called extremely severe. So that's the five categories. So click on add. So as I told you, I'm telling the computer to recode these different scores into five different categories. Uh, I click on continue. Now I have to name it. I call it level of depression. So I say L B L D E P. The label is level of depression. Level of depression. Click on change. Click on OK. So a new variable has been created, as you can see, which is the level of depression. Now I need to go to the variable view and then I need to add value labels because these are different categories. So I just double click here on the value label. So one is normal, click on add, two is mild, mild level of depression, three is moderate, four is severe and five is extremely severe. So these are the five different levels and then I click on OK. So I have done it for depression. Now in the next part of the video, I will, uh, will, I'll get back to you after I do the same for anxiety and stress. Okay. So I have categorized the three uh, different levels of uh, depression, anxiety and stress as mentioned in the scoring pattern of the scale. So now the final step is of course to calculate the percentage and find out how many percentage of the total respondents are actually depressed and at what levels. So we go to analyze descriptive statistics. 
frequencies uh, I'll just reset everything and then we select level of depression level of anxiety and level of stress and then click on OK now if I go to the output file I will find the percentage here so here we can see that the single largest majority of the total respondents have a normal level of depression although the second highest category belongs to those who have a moderate level of depression with regard to anxiety it seems that majority or the single largest majority of the total respondents have an extremely severe level of anxiety and with regard to stress uh, it seems that an equal percentage of respondents have a normal level of stress as well as a moderate level of stress uh, and the second highest category is belonging to those uh, who have a severe level of stress so it seems that uh, the mental health of the respondents is not perfect but it seems to be fine in certain aspects you know uh, for example the depression level seems to be fine for the single largest majority uh, although the anxiety seems to be a serious problem you can see that the single largest majority have extremely severe level of anxiety okay so this is how you categorize them and interpret them okay uh, i hope this video was useful if you did then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching and bye for now